Why don't you hold that for me while I catch it? Stand back, let's get a look at it. Hello? Big day. We're making history here. In we are way? tapping our well. We're gonna right? tap it. We're gonna tap that. Just well, it's already been installed and put here, but we're gonna do it manual style. We're gonna have this pump in manual. Yeah, it's a pretty cool pump. So we're gonna drop this as the pump that they've already seen. And we're gonna drop this down into the well. We have a safety rope tied to it mm -hmm. so it can't drop off in the well. And we're gonna drop this down. Our static water level is rated at 20 feet, but I actually just measured it. It's like 19 and a half. Mm -hmm. So we're going to drop this down deeper than that. Uh, we have enough piping to go down like 40 feet. Then we're going to screw all the piping to it. But we have to tie this to the well so that it doesn't fall down. Okay. Because one of us might make a mistake and drop it. We're going to keep everything out of the well. Okay. Right. Are you ready, Puma? There it is. Hello! Nope. No one's trapped in there. That's good. <laughs> Nope, they're bored now. <laughs> I get anal, so I'm gonna just make sure it's tight. It's pretty tight. You screw that in there? Yeah. Yep, it's threaded. Basically, this guy is going to be controlling the pump part. Excuse me. <laughs> they said that once it's tight enough to the hand, you could take a vice grip and go an extra quarter turn, but it's not necessary. It's just uh, if you just go as tight as your hands can do it, then that's all you got to do. Okay, so you've got it tied off down there. Good job. Yep. Nothing's loose. See if it sticks in there. It's pretty good, right? Now this part connects to the next one. So I mean that fancy tool. This should just rest right here. As long as this board doesn't break in half, it was kinda cracked on the other side. Feels good. Okay, just don't test it. We're gonna just keep pulling this the pump rod up with it.
Cool. Pump. That's it. Does it go any lower? Is that it? Is it real? We're gonna see. You're right. Oh, your hair was cut. Yeah. Sorry. So just move it over a little bit to get it. Okay, go. And one more little bit. Right there. Good. Okay. Hey, um, how do you feel about your uh, rope? Tying on that eye hook. That's good. Ooh, how's that? Sexy. <laughs> Imagine you're gonna pump it. Where do you want to stand? All this is gone. These stumps are gone. All this is gone. It's open. Oh, so well, then it doesn't really matter. But I'm I'd rather come this. up and have it facing that way. So you want to pump it here, and eventually we can always turn it to wherever we want this tank to be. Yeah. Because this tank could be here, or it could be further in, or it could be whatever. Mm -hmm. But for now, for like the next week, we're gonna be just pumping it out of here straight. As we get the water tested. <clears throat> How strong is this on there? That's on there, bro. All right. <laughs> Are you gonna pump it first? Your little excited yet? Little waggle. <laughs> Why don't you do it first? Okay. <laughs> Wait, standing on my foot. Oh, that's right. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Give it a couple of three. Come on, Cole, get it. I am. It's got to pump up like 20 feet. Oh. <gasps> So cool. It's smooth, right? Yeah. How Super smooth is that? Smooth. Okay, you have to pump it until it goes dry so we know how much water volume we have per hour. <laughs> it seems like every time you need about five pumps to prime it up. This is for the bucket? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so exciting. Nicole is smiling so big. <laughs> What's this guy for? Like to hang a cleaning tool or something? No, it's to latch the oh. handle. That's right. Yeah. That's so awesome. That's cool. Okay, now pump water so you can do the dishes. <laughs> Water's coming out really clean. Okay, I'm turning this camera off. <laughs> You're done.
Just talking wolf out here. nobody around on the striker boat and I'm hearing a bunch of wolves howling from this mountain behind me. Turn it up and listen if you can hear. We're communicating. I don't know if you guys can hear because of the waterfalls. Can you hear that? Okay, so stand back, let's get a look at it. <clears throat> okay, so this is the highest point of all the footers, so this is the lowest the floor can be. We'll just make a step right here to step up to get in. Like we do with these guys, like I'm like no one. Good morning guys, day two, working on this project. I realized that we should probably tell you what we're making. It's getting a little cramped inside the yurt to be honest. So we are making a cat atrium, a uh, super quick project. They're gonna have like a tunnel where they can go from inside the yurt out into this awesome cat atrium that will be enclosed by a fence, but they're able to be outside, see us working because they love looking out the window, which is right behind us. They love looking out that window and watching us work. So for them to be outside, I think is gonna be awesome. The cat box will be outside and it'll be like a fun jungle gym for them. Our neighbors that have chickens and chicken coops and things like this, they always have the cougar break in or the mink or marten break in and try to eat everything. So we're worried about that with the cats. So we're gonna put electric fence around the bottom and the top of it, like away from the fence on the outside so that the cats don't get electrocuted, but anything that comes up will get that snap.
What you doing now? Chicken wire. Oh. I, there's gonna be Martin and Mink and mice. Well, no mice, because this is gonna be like the world's worst nightmare for a mouse mm -hmm. uh, to be trapped in the cat enclosure, but also cougar. And I don't want them to come inside the cat enclosure. And if they do come, they want to hit electric fence first, but then I also want them it to be sealed. So we're gonna do chicken wire underneath up the sides and the roof kind of wrap it in yeah. christmas wrapping up <clears throat> personally i think that chicken wire is one of the most maddening things to ever deal with to work with have you ever worked with it before you're building thing with chicken wire. No. i think it's it's maddening mm. so let's hope that you and i can take the maddening part out of it thanks <laughs> Okay, so what are you doing? I'm just weaving the middle part together. All right, we chainsaw milled all those rounds that we had draw knifed, we had pull sawed, and cut them in half basically long ways. And now the flat edge is down on the floor frame and the round part is up and uh, I think it's working out pretty good. So we're gonna cut these all to size and I'll find some that um, are the appropriate size so that they all fit together. It's gonna be pretty nice. And I can't wait to show you guys what it's like to have the cats walk on this for the first time and go outside, but be safe. So stay tuned to see the cat's reaction, to see Ginseng and Reishi's reaction. Awesome. Hey, what do you think about that? That's pretty sweet. Yeah, first one down and a lot more to go. The next ones that we can just keep them straight down the line until the next yeah. post. Hey, get up and walk on it. Let's see. How strong does it feel? feel pretty strong. Yeah. I would say we don't do two as we just do one in the middle, like right there. Hey, it's looking good. Think? Yeah, I, I really like it a lot. <laughs> Do you like how I cut this radius with a chainsaw? Yeah, Don't zoom good. in on the work. Come <laughs> on, give me a break. Sorry. It looks good for cats. 
No, it looks great. So a couple more um, floorboards and then we'll uh, put the second layer of chicken wire on. We'll put the roof on that will match in color and angle to our yurt roof. And then we'll put some um, shelves and jungle gym type toys in here for the cats. And then we'll connect it with a tube and then we'll see them go into it for the first time and how they like it. Yeah, I'm so excited for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm.